talked about beauty in our home before. It just, you might be wondering why we're talking about this with life after kids, but your environment says so much about your emotional health, I think, and your stress management, your stress levels, and how you think, how you work, how you process things, all of it. So true. And if you're trying to create a life, if we have desires and things that we're moving toward, the environment that we put ourselves in will influence everything. I mean, it influences our thoughts, our actions. So it's really important yes. that we create spaces that reflect more of how we want to think and feel. It's a really proactive way to go about your life in thinking that it's it's intentional that if we place ourselves in an inspiring environment, we'll get more yeah. out of our, uh, squeeze more out of our life. Yeah, and you can't discount this. I mean, we're at this phase when life after kids, we are cultivating our best life, right? This is what we're doing. This is what we're about. We want to be our best selves. We want to live a very productive and meaningful life. And you're right. It's a re your life is a reflection of your surroundings. And don't discount also the meaning behind decluttering your home, because I want to have this conversation today too, in my experience with it, and decluttering your, your mind and just, I mean, really. They are so interrelated. They, they are, are so, so they really, really are. And so I want to, I want to talk about the experience I've had recently, because Ken and I have gone through our house, like I'm just really unloaded, but also before I do that, you, you are so much, you are so good about keeping a house clean. But when we talk about like organization and clean and beauty in the home and stress management, Dr. Lynn is the epitome of it. Like I've actually heard her say on many occasions, when she's having a bad day or a stressful week or whatever, it's going to be okay. I'm okay now. I went and cleaned out a closet and I feel much better. <laughs> like, what are you Listen. saying? You were just upset. Like you couldn't sleep. You're having this, like, well, you always sleep, but you know, like you're having this upended and you're like, I've cleaned the closet and I feel better. <laughs> it's actually a joke in our family because, and, and at work, I tell this to my um, employees too. It's the best therapy. Just do not listen. You can go and pay for therapy. And, and I'm not saying that, that that's not good. I'm saying also go clean out a closet and tell me that that isn't, <clears throat> excuse me, clear my throat, isn't like worth its weight in, in gold. So yeah, the, because it goes back to what you just said, which is that our outside reflect what's going on in our inside. Sure. So if our outside is just full of crap, and cluttered. And that's what happens, right? We tend to accumulate a lot of stuff. We accumulate baggage emotionally. We accumulate negative energy. Yeah. We accumulate toxins from our, you know, from people. And you can say the same things for our environment. So they are. Oh so my gosh. Right? That is such good wisdom. And it's really, really true. It's just too much of everything. Too much of everything. So just like you know, people's emotional health, our outsides need a, a reset a couple times a year. And yes, I, it's, I didn't even know I was doing this, but I stumbled upon it. And and now fortunately over, I've been doing this for years. I've got these habits in place, kind of like you with your emotional resilience, mm -hmm. you've seen the benefits. So you just, now you never miss. And yes. so that's the why that's the big why behind why we're talking about this. And hopefully you get inspired today to go home and make a change, take some action. Yeah, it is it, it exactly as with anything else you need leverage or a why, why behind it. And trust me when I tell you, I know from experience, when you do get your space organized, yeah, what it does for you and clearing your head is huge. Yeah, so two things, that for sure. And then the, the second piece is once it's organized, how about we even go a step further and think about, what What's if coming I, here? Well, <laughs> what if I design this environment to be inspirational, aspirational for where I'm going and who I'm going to be? I love it. Do you see where I'm? Yeah. No, I, it's so good. Reminders of uh, let your environment be a reflection of who you want to be. I think that's what you're saying, yes. right? And your goals and your desires. It's like, so good. And and the other thing, like another thing here too, is because we're most of you listening are in this phase of life where the kids are grown and out or in the process, you're, you're entering that phase of life. Or if you're not in that phase of life, like, like you and I both, 
And what I found in going through and cleaning out the house too, is kind of like a renewal, like it can be emotional because I, I came across a lot of stuff like from when the kids were little and we're tied to that. And it is hard. It's a little bit of, it's a little bit cathartic in a way to like, for me, at least it was like, there's some, and maybe I'm going too deep here reading too much, no. but like some symbolism of, you know, processing going through and letting go and then clearing space to move on for what's next. So good. And that 